Hello again, it's me again. Another video. I just thought I'd show you this one because um, I've had people ask me if uh, if they lose the transmitter or it gets damaged in any way, then how do you link um, or bind, if you like, your your uh, Phantom back to the new transmitter when you get it? Well, it's quite simple, really. I'm going to use a plastic pointer here, which is actually a cable tie, uh, to show you. If you open up the Phantom, this is the receiver module here. Okay, you can tell that because the part number's on the circuit board here and the uh, NASA board with it, but that by rain, it's on this side. Now then, uh, what you have to do is uh, power up your transmitter first, and then power on the Phantom. If the LED indicator of the receiver on the control board is solid red, and that's just there, a little tiny. Um, red LED there. All right. If that is solid red this means the receiver currently has no connection with the transmitter. If you press down the link button which is just there, a little tiny button, um, yes you can see that there, um, if you just press that down and hold it for a couple of seconds then what will happen is it will flash. Okay. When it starts to blink release the button and you push the throttle stick to the lowest position on your transmitter. If the LED of the receiver turns off, the link between the transmitter and the receiver has succeeded. Uh, the linking operation can only be done with the LED indicator of the transmitter changing uh, changes to red. So once you've done that, that's how you do it. It's very, very simple. And um, I'll just show you the picture on the instruction leaf. Uh, I'm trying to trouble focusing here. There it is in the actual manual so it's a pretty good representation but that's what it really looks like uh, like I said there's your hang on, big finger get me a little pointer I'll go through it again there's your button there's your LED light so if you do damage your transmitter and you need, they need to buy a new transmitter for your existing Phantom uh, that's how you do it it's very very simple I've done another video on how to take the top off um, and if you look at that and follow it, it should be quite straightforward. Uh, again, any questions, just uh, put them in the link below or um, have a look at my forum, multiblade.com. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.